Sunday, the 13th of October, which means one week to go to the 20th and the Yorkshire Marathon. Getting real, getting excited. Okay, uh, training has gone pretty well. Uh, probably the best marathon block of training I've done for many years. Definitely my taper. And this is my last race prior to the marathon. We are in a place called Kenworth Center and we are about to do the Army Dry 10 kilometer race. It's a reasonably flat route, but with a major hill for about a K and a half, about midway through the race. So not expecting to break any personal best today. Uh, if all goes well, I should just dip under 50 minutes for the day, which will be cool. I'm gonna start on my warm up shortly. So in terms of the marathon, my um, anticipated times are still pretty much the same. I'm still looking A goal as being a sub 450. Uh, B goal sub 420 to get me the comrade seating. And then of course, trying to get a sub 426 to give me a PB. Old age PB that is. So, um, interestingly enough, my uh, Garmin watch gives you a race predictor. And uh, it's predicting that I will run a 319. So I have to admit, I don't know what my watch has been smoking. I can't see that happening. Hopefully my next marathon in the new year, if I can continue with my training block, I will be going for a sub four. But uh, yeah, not a 319. <laughs> I can only dream of those times. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna do my warm up and I'll catch up with you guys at the start. Cheers for now. Okay, I got about a K to go on my warm up. Um, this is the, I'm running on the last K of the race, but I'm not doing the race yet. I think uh, the route is a little bit quieter than it will be in about an hour's time. Okay, I didn't give you a weather update. Um, it's 14 degrees at the moment, uh, slight wind but the wind shouldn't be a factor on this course. So basically perfect conditions for today. This is quite a popular race, so it'll be quite a big field. And we've got about 20 minutes to go to the start. Okay guys, we'll catch up with you at what will be the start. Cheers for now. Keep forgetting to tell you. Um, but for those of you who have been watching my channel for over a year, will know that the last time I did this race, last year, I ended up with a time of about 75 minutes. So that's obviously the time to beat today. Uh, but a bit of history to that. I uh, slightly pulled my hamstring in the week leading up to this race and uh, that hamstring went full-blown during the race so I probably should have bailed but instead I continued and limped around a 10k so hopefully we don't get a repeat of that today I think the year before that I just dipped under 50 and I said that is the aim for today okay We'll definitely, definitely now catch up with you guys at the start. I can't think there's anything else more I want to say to you at this stage. Okay, cheers for now. By the way, my garments improved my marathon to a 319 now. After, after Thursday's session. Nice. You see, we're peaking. Shawnee's watch is peaking. That is the start of the race. And the athletes are okay, off. Okay, we're off. Turn out. In effect, a huge... Chat you along the route. Just have to watch my foot in here because it's quite chaotic. Okay, check you guys later along the route. Oh, okay guys, 3Ks in. It's been hard going. Body doesn't seem to want to work today. Anyhow, 15-15. 
and the third K was my first sub five minute. So with the hills about to start, I'm gonna lose at least a minute. So I think revised target, sub 52. I'll check to you just now when we get to the hill. 2.75 done and we're on to the hill so I'm not stressing about time at the moment we've probably got best part of a K to go we'll chat along the route of this hill and uh, we'll reassess times once we get to the top take into account this is not actually a flat out race anyhow the best it's 80 percent okay check you guys just now okay guys that's the top basically down and from the top and it's almost 5k chat you at the top Come guys, come guys, come guys! Come guys, keep going! Come on guys, keep going! Well done, well done! Okay, I'm gonna take a water break. Okay, halfway, 26.32. Thank you. Expect the second half to be quite a bit quicker. Okay, catch up with you guys. Just. Thank you. Okay, uh, six Ks, 4.42, overall 31.14. But that was all downhill. Got about another cave downhill and then flat to the finish. So that was actually my first sub five of the race. Okay, I'm feeling a little bit more alive now. Okay, I'll chat you at seven days. Okay, seven days, 437, 35, 51. So we're gonna level off now. So the secret is to keep this momentum going on this flat. So we should do a sub 51 at this thing. Okay, I'll shut you guys at 8Ks. 8Ks, 442, overall 4034, 2Ks to go. Still feeling sluggish, but not bad. Shut you at 9Ks. Okay, 9Ks, 41, uh, sorry, 441, overall time 45.25. Last K. Chat you on the fitness street. Go on the right side, the males. And it's a 
lovely sprint to the finish there by Sydney Cleopas. What a good run as always, Simon Speck with his camera at the finish line. Now the runners are coming in. Perfect water this morning. Disney, got the prime here. Finishing his run in the Atlantis Areas Club Colors. Thank you. Well done, Titans. You've done it. Celtics is in the house. Marisa. Well done. Marisa Calvert also here this morning. And the Waterfall. Waterfall City Athletic Club is also here. Alexis Sachs finishing her run. Thank you. Thank you. Show them you 60, man. Yeah, they know. Well done, and so they jerking the Yeah, it's too bad. Good. Lovely run there. Okay. Well done. Okay, guys, so official time 50.09. Position 2.12. Because on my watch, which means it's not the official results, but I went through 10Ks in 49.52. So, at the end of the day, very happy with that. If I wouldn't have been so sluggish the first three, I think a sub-50 would have been a piece of cake. But anyhow, that's how it goes sometimes. Catch up with you just now. So that's the crew this morning, 10k successfully done, turning quite cool now, so I need to get warm and changed so I don't get a cold before next week. Okay, so making my way back to the car. Um, I'm going to say this is my last running video until the Yorkshire Marathon next week. But I may do a park run in the UK the day before. We'll see how I feel. We will be bringing you our journey to the UK. Sorry, pardon me. Uh, we leave on Tuesday. So, start to pack away the running stuff now. Um, I'm happy with the training. It's probably, as I don't know if I mentioned, probably the best training block I have done for a marathon for quite a few years. Um, so that 4.15 is definitely the aim. We're gonna see how we feel on the day. My, uh, I'm not gonna make any predictions, but 4.15. 4.15 is the target. Guys, thank you for coming along on this journey with me. Your comments, support on the road have been fantastic. And it's been a pleasure to bring these videos to you. Um, as I say, it's great people stopping me on the road and saying how much they enjoy their vlogs and how much it inspires them and that's what it's there for it's a bit of fun for me and hopefully to relay my life on the road and if it brings some inspiration to people that's a major benefit okay I'm waffling I'm waffling guys so thanks for watching please remember to like and subscribe Ring the bell and so you get notifications. Give us a like and leave us a comment. We love your comments. Cheers for now.